We've had many recent requests on how to use the scripting functions in Easy Image. As more and more people are buying and selling stamps on platforms like eBay, Hipstamp, Delcamp, and others, it becomes more and more important to use your time efficiently. Hundreds of major online sellers are using Easy Image to process their images, and some have asked us how we create these scripts. Although we are happy to share the scripts we create, it is easier for you to create your own for your specific needs. Ours are created for our, our specific requirements and may not need your needs. The scripting functions available in Easy Image act like a record and playback system of actions you perform in Easy Image. The, uh, the scripting process is pretty easy to set up. The first step is to make sure you have the scripts palette visible. This is the scripts palette here. If it's not visible on your system, simply go to the view menu, select palettes, and then click show scripts. In this case, it says hide scripts because it's already visible. I will add a couple of scripts to a new palette today rather than add to the default palette which you see here on the left. To create a new palette we just right click on any palette and go to palette editor and select new set and I will create one called new and there it is there. and we can select it and as you can see there are no scripts or anything available on it yet. The other way to create a new palette is to go to the actual uh, scripts function and you will see that there has a new, um, a, a new set available but we'll leave that for later for now. There are two kinds of scripts there are menu recording scripts and an action recording script. The menu recording scripts will place a shortcut for most menu selections into a palette. Let's say you use this specific function in Easy Image frequently. You can access it via the menus or you can try and remember the keyboard shortcuts we have in place or you can place scripts on the palette. Let's do an example. One function I use a lot is the sti stitch function and the resize function. So I'll put a stitch script and a resize script on the new palette and then we can run them. So I'll now do uh, menu record. So I go to scripts, record, and this time I'll use menu record. And the first one I want to do is the image and resize. And as you can see, I put one there, and I'm going to add another one from the Tools menu, which is the Stitch Images. We click OK, and you see them here on the new palette. So the first thing I'll do here is uh, apply the stitch. So I'm going to click on the Stitch Images, and I'm going to select the two images that I have displayed here, and I will stitch them. And there they are. When you do a stitch, you need to set the secondary image so it's not a floater anymore. And now I will do a resize by clicking the resize icon on our new palette. And then let's say I'm going to make this larger and I'll make this on 800 pixels wide. You can set any of the other parameters uh, that you like here. And as you can see, it has enlarged it. In this way, you can create scripts for menu items so you have instant access to them via the palettes at any time. Now let's record one of the action scripts. This kind of script will record almost any action you perform on an image. Let's work with one of the images that I have on screen now. I'll first close these other two images. So I'll now start the script record process again. We will add our new script to the new palette, which is what's displayed here. 
and I will call this te uh, script test. So I'm going to type it in here. And as you can see, it's going to go into the new palette and I click on record. So from this point on, anything that I do in Easy Image will be recorded so that they can be played back against any images or sets of images. The first thing I will do is clean up the background of this image by using the magic wand. I select the magic wand tool and set the tolerance. So I first click in the uh, upper left hand area. So I've now um, selected that area. I click the delete button to delete the background. It will use whatever uh, color is in this swatch here. You can change the color if you like by just uh, choosing a different color. I'm going to leave it as black. And then I'm going to right click to set that uh, action that we've just taken. The next step I want to do is de-skew the image via the Tools menu. So we go to Tools, Edge De-Skew, and then click De-Skew. And as you can see, the image has now been squared. And then I will auto-trim again via the Tools menu so it's presented properly when I go to save or upload it, if I were to sell it or put it on my website. So we go to Tools auto trim and then you can set your parameters I like leaving around seven pixels uh, around the image and as you can see it's cropped it the way I had asked at this point I will end the recording I will go to actions stop and you can see now that we have a new function called test now Please note that um, scripts have this kind of uh, icon associated, indicating that there are multiple steps. These are just shortcuts to the menu items that we did earlier. One other thing that I want to show you, particularly for Windows 10 users, is when you are in almost any, any uh, sub-window of Easy Image, you can hit F1 and you will get context sensitive help for whatever uh, action you're trying to take. On some Windows 10 systems, um, the Windows Help 32 system is not available and near the end of the video I will show you how to get that installed on, uh, on your system. Now to see the incredible power of the scripts and easy image we can apply our script that we just created, this one here called test, to many images all at once. All we need to do is store images in a given folder and then we can apply that script to thousands of images all at once. I have a few images um, already prepared as you can see here and I will apply our new script to all of these images at once and I'll show you how we do that. When you're running a, a script function like this you have to make sure that there are no images open in the easy image window. So to run the script against the folder we go to the tools menu and we select file conversion and you set your path. The source is where the the original images are and you can use the browse buttons to uh, to get you there and then uh, the target reference is where you want the images to be and I'm just going to use this option here to collapse into the target folder and then what you do is you click on the scripts and then you browse to uh, the scripts that you want in this one it's going to be the test one that's uh, that's available here you enable the script you click OK and you begin the process and it will open up each image and apply what we had uh, done which was the auto rotate and auto crop and when it's done, we can see in the 
image folder that I had told it to place the copies, here they are already cropped and rotated. Easy image users have created thousands of scripts for streamlining their images uh, and while they're processing them. While with a little bit of patience, you can do the same and save yourself a lot of time and create perfect images for your online stamp endeavors. As I mentioned earlier, for those of you running Windows 10 and don't have direct access to the uh, context sensitive help system that comes with Easy Image, you can uh, easily set that up. And you need to follow the directions on this page on our website. So you go to easystamp.com and you click on Easy Image. Then you can click on Support, Frequently Asked Questions. And then you click on this topic here, which describes how to get the uh, Windows Help 32 system set up on, uh, on your Windows 10 machine. We hope this video will help you get the most out of Easy Image. Thanks for watching and happy stamping.